Now you might be thinking, you know, Lisa, what happens if you've been ruminating about this and, and thinking how do I fix this? If you are caught in the middle of uh, a disaster, an emergency situation, an earthquake, and I'll give you a few examples that I went through, <laughs> not fun. Um, <coughs> there are counties and states that go through emergencies like floods, earthquakes, uh, dam uh, ruptures, and, and, and things go haywire. And in especially if you're older and you're on Medicare <coughs> or you're on disability and, and Medicare, SSDI and Medicare, um, Medicare is there to assist. So if you are a diabetic, let's say that's what happened to me. Uh, my landlord uh, was diabetic. We were evacuated by my brother. He took us to his home. And um, my landlord said, oh my gosh, I forgot my meds. And there was no way of getting back into the neighborhood. It was just torn to pieces in the earthquake in California in 1989. So um, they weren't gonna let her back in the house, but the pharmacy that was nearby w was allowed to give her medications that she needed uh, for quite a few days so that she didn't go without as a diabetic. That would have been pretty dangerous. Um, also, um, you know, if your wheelchair gets washed away or your your wheelchair gets destroyed in in the earthquake or gets swallowed up and tangled up in the street and then the street closed up again and that's it you can't get that wheelchair out of there um there are organizations nearby that will uh provide uh a wheelchair for you uh and there's a number i think there's numbers you can call and uh just uh ask for assistance now, in my case, we were evacuated uh, pretty quickly out of the neighborhood uh, to the park, to the local park, because that stayed intact. Uh, and there were tents, the Red Cross put up tents and tables and uh, <coughs> food and other things because they're prepared for that. And the fire department was going up and down uh, house to house because our gas lines were torn to pieces in the neighborhood. Nobody thinks about those things. <laughs> in the middle of an earthquake or right after an earthquake, you do not think about checking your, <laughs> oh, how are my gas lines? <laughs> Nobody thinks about that. The Red Cross, the, the fire department did. And they just, you know, they asked the, the main, I guess, city or whatever to shut us down because our, our our lines were just torn to pieces. So <coughs> it's that kind of thing that uh, the fire department, the Red Cross, uh, other organizations uh, jump in right away. They're trained to do this uh, in the middle of a disaster. So uh, Medicare will cover medications that you need urgently. Uh, Medicare will assist you in getting your cancer treatments. Medicare will assist those who need um, dialysis, so any of those kind of treatments that are urgent, that can't be broken, you can't just stop doing them. Uh, Medicare is there to assist you in, in getting those um, set up for you. Uh, and they'll give you a couple of places where you can go and get the treatment. Now, there might be a disruption of one day or two days because the employees also have gone through the disaster and they also need some help. So, you know, it depends on their store and their clinic, you know, what's going on with them that, you know, it might take, you know, there might be a delay in reopening that clinic. Uh, is it in one piece? You know, is their equipment okay? You know, so <coughs> especially with the wheelchairs and the walkers, you know, what happened to that store? Are they available? Are, you know, do you have to go somewhere else? Uh, call by phone, you know, you might have to call to another place uh, that can provide your medical, uh, durable medical equipment to you if, if the ones you had got damaged. So, so we all have to be patient in the middle of a disaster, but Medicare is designed to assist people with their treatments and their medications and their durable medical equipment. 
So I will put that uh, link down below uh, so that you have that available. Not that we want to use it. <laughs> Not that we want to have that happen. But truly in 1989, in the earthquake of California, it, it was a mess, you know. And once we were able to kind of get back on our feet because our homes were torn to pieces, uh, nobody thought of, oh, our gas lines. <laughs> Nobody sat and said, oh, let's check our gas lines. No, the fire department came in right away and started evacuating people as fast as they could. And I, I you know, my brother had already called and said, I'm coming to pick you up and take you out of the neighborhood. So, <coughs> so I had that, but some people don't. So the, the uh, fire department started picking people up to take them to the park, because that's where their center was. They set themselves up with the Red Cross and the fire department uh, to assist people right away and get them away from the <laughs> danger zone and help anybody who was injured, <coughs> because uh, some people were. Uh, and emotionally, they were in shock. So they needed some kind of counseling, some kind of assistance to bring them out a little bit to, to reality and, and see uh, what was going on. Now, of course, organizations that help pets in emergencies also came out. Uh, and that neighborhood certainly had a lot of cats and dogs and, and pets to, to rescue. So just know that Medicare is prepared to assist you in an emergency uh, like this. Um, a big emergency, so like flooding, a break of a dam, or earthquakes um, that are not fun. Uh, so just know that that I will leave the links down below so that you have them available. Not that we want to go through anything like that, but um, it's important to know that Medicare, if you have the real Medicare, will assist you. Sorry about that. And if um. You have private insurance, uh, they will probably also be prepared for a disaster. So that's all I wanted to say for Medicare. And if you have any questions, any concerns, uh, any stories that you want to share, feel free uh, to post down below. That also helps other people know that they will be assisted in the middle of a disaster. The county that you live in will take about a week to get themselves together and um, get some uh, essential things like food and things like that to you. Uh, so just know that other organizations will also be available to you, but it'll take them a little bit to get together a week or two weeks at least. So you also have to prepare yourself for an emergency, a disaster of this type. Uh, some kind of box or whatever that you have, uh, food for a few days. And food, a little bit more food to share with your neighbor that might have been injured or whatever. So just know in disasters, we have to also do our part and make sure that we have, you know, water, uh, food for a few days, and water for a few days, and, um, and for somebody extra in case your neighbor didn't think of that and now they're without anything and they were evacuated and you were evacuated with them. Um, so in that area that people can share what they have. So those little things are really important to do. And then as you're sharing your food and, and eating at least, you know, the minimal, the, the county will come in a few days to assist with more food and you know first aid and assist people with Medicare uh, and because they have that knowledge so just know that it'll take them a few days but you also and myself we have to be prepared on how we're going to address uh, ourselves and take care of ourselves in the middle of a disaster all right take care feel free to look at the next video I think it'll be down here somewhere so <laughs> And uh, I think I'll put the, n the previous video that I put in there uh, for disasters. But I wanted to talk about the insurance from Medicare that will be there to assist you. All right, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.